Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to load data when you're working on your data science project. So I'm going to be using Google Colab to show you this and at the end of this you can always click the link in the description below and you'll be able to get a copy of this notebook. So let's dive in. To unzip it, if you first have to get the file and then we we'll use the same syntax that we used last time and you click enter and this might take a while maybe not and then the next you do this chart this is a syntax for it and you do gun zip extract verbals and all of this is just file equal to Instacart online. I'm just going to copy this because I'm that lazy. So basically this is a syntax that you use to unzip a tar file and if this was on your local computer on your command line you wouldn't have this sign in front of it. You wouldn't have this sign in front of it. Let's go ahead and run this. As you can see there's multiple CSVs under this and um, this is the main file for it if we go here and go to files as you can see this is your instacart data just actually multiple data sets inside it and this is the unlocked folder this is the folder and this is the csvs inside it for us to use the csvs inside this folder we have to access the folder so to access a folder you do this now again, if you are in your shell command, you just do cd, not a problem, okay? But since we are inside Python notebook, you have to do cd, you have to put that percent sign for you to switch folder. You know, before we'll just do read csv, but we can't just read csv because it's not here. We have to switch into this Instacart folder for us to read the csv inside it. And we'll just type in the name. It shows up right there. Thank you, Google. And that's it. And then we can view the files inside it. And of course, you can just do ls, lh, and this and this star sign just means to read everything inside. Control Enter. And as you can see, this is all the CSV files inside the Instacart data. And after that's done, we can, and of course, if you are on your local computer, you wouldn't use this sign right here. If you are using the command line to view the CSV. And let's just call it Instacart. Is that how you spell Instacart? <laughs> Got the pd.read. CSV and let's just read this first one AISLES dot CSV. Okay, enter and let's just as you can see this. Uh, let's do dot head so we can just see the. Oh, by the way, when you do dot head, you can just do you can do 15 and it will return 15 data sets and um, it will return 15 rows. But the default is five. So you just do instacart.head, which is this CSV file. You can see the first five rows. And of course, you can repeat this process. So at the end of it, oh, this video showed you four ways to load data in a Python notebook. And of course, you can always click the link in the description below. To download a copy of this notebook, I'm going to make it available. You can download a copy of this notebook. And once you've downloaded it, um, you won't be able to write on it. You just have to click on file, save a copy and drive. That's how you get your own copy. And once you get your own copy, you can edit it. And you can always click locate and drive to find where your file is. And if you just want the Python version of this, you can do download that's ipynb and you can be able to download just the python version of this um, no notebook or anything like that 
And if this video helped you, please subscribe, thumbs up, share, and most importantly, comment below if you want me to make more tutorial videos like this one. I hope you liked it. And that's it for today. Thanks. Bye.